One of Australia's oldest World War II diggers received a fitting send-off in Sydney today after passing away at the age of 98. Dick Payton, an Order of Australia recipient, has been hailed a true patriot who served his country with dignity and pride. A fitting send-off for a hero. At the age of 20, Dick Payton signed up to serve his country in the Second World War and did it with distinction. Anzac Day may as well have been called Grandpa Day in our family. The Kokoda campaign and the broader battle for Papua New Guinea in World War II breathed a new fire into the Anzac legend forged at Gallipoli. He was in the heat of it. The defence came out of Port Moresby uh, in, in the final stages, which turned the Japanese around uh, on Kokoda track. News of the digger's passing had politicians lauding him as a true patriot. For a man uh, that saw so many horrific things, uh, Dick was so full of happiness, uh, so full of, of life. Approximately 625 Australians died on the Kokoda track alone. Dick Payton was right in the thick of it. Extraordinary bravery, vile conditions and an unrelenting enemy. He survived, but he never forgot. He made us aware of the horror of war. Many who knew Dick often talked about how he pre-planned just about everything. Not surprisingly, he arranged his own speech for today. You are here and I am over there. Always the trickster, he uh, surprised everyone. In true Anzac style, the beer flowed at the wake. Cheers, Dick. Cheers. As well as the stories. He was cleaning his rifle sitting on his bed one night in New Guinea and there was a Japanese general under his bed. I've come to join my mates. Dick Payton was 98. Michael Kane for 10 News First.